If you sell services to small businesses, you can use Google Maps as a lead generation machine. With the only issue being that plenty of these YouTubers have spilled the beans and showed everyone else how to do this. So to give you an advantage over everyone else, I created this free tool here that will let you comb through 31,000 cities in the United States by state, population, and business category so you can find businesses that no one else has tapped. Just click the link in the description to see my tool. You'll find it has 30,000 cities sorted by metro population. So this first page of cities, these are probably the businesses we don't want to contact because if they're in a large city, they probably already have good marketing services or other people who followed those YouTube videos have reached out to them. But just for fun, we can use the drop down on any one of these cities and browse all these different types of businesses so I can show you what I mean. A lot of them have high review counts, high reviews and websites, so they probably don't need any reputation management or website redesign. They may need help with SEO, you can do that if you want, or if you're pitching a non-digital service and you need to go focus on your city, you can use this tool to do that as well and just browse through all these different types of business categories. What I instead suggest doing if you're pitching digital marketing services is to go to the population dropdown and find some of these lower population cities. There are plenty of them, over 1,800, and they have smaller population counts, meaning they probably don't have a lot of savvy digital marketing firms that are local to them and they've probably been ignored by a lot of people doing outbound lead generation on Google Maps. Next, I'm going to start with one category of business, say plumbers. I select that here in the third dropdown, and now with one click, I can open up all these plumbers and all these low population cities. Here's one I found, Minuteman, reminds me of what my ex-girlfriend used to call me, and I can see they have a website. So let's check it out. It takes a while to load, so they may need some technical SEO help, but I can see they have a general website and it looks okay. Now I can see if they rank on Google or not, and they don't. I don't see them anywhere here for Tulsa Sand Springs Plumber. So now I can contact them with a relevant and personalized message saying, hey, I can make your website faster and help you rank. Maybe I'll call them or email them and give them a personalized suggestion. So that was just our first city, and I can keep opening these tabs all day long and finding more businesses to contact just in this one tier of population cities. And when I'm done bothering these plumbers from these 1800 cities, I can keep going to the next tier and the next tier and the next tier. All the way down here to these 300 to 399 tier, there's still over a thousand cities with these low populations and I can look for businesses here. At these low populations, you'll find a ton of unclaimed businesses. Many of them also need a website. So you can call them by their listed phone number and see if any of them want to take their business to 2024 and beyond by providing a helpful website and presence on Google so they start making some real money. And we're not limited to these predefined categories. If I click custom here, I can enter any search term I want, like injury attorney or whatever you wanna put in. This will now pre-populate these links to look up injury attorneys on Google Maps for the given coordinates. Here I changed to California, so here I have a list of all the cities in California. But I want to go to Nevada because they have interesting laws there around personal injury and at fault insurance, etc. So now I can click on all these links and browse all of these injury attorneys in Nevada, from Las Vegas to Reno to all the other cities in Nevada. So this manual browsing is great, but we can automate this legally through the Google Maps API by scraping Google Maps. And we provide a freemium service to do this for you. Just click scrape Google Maps next to any of these rows and it will pre-populate the query, injury attorney, as well as the coordinates from the previous page so you don't have to fuddle around with them. All you need to do is put in your Google Maps API key, which you can get from these helpful links. Our service will query the Google Maps API in your behalf and auto-magically parse out the messy JSON response into downloadable CSV files you can analyze in Excel or pump into your own CRM software. So I can keep scraping all these cities in Nevada by just pasting in my API key and clicking on these links here all day long, and I'll get a bunch of CSV files for each city with personal injury attorneys. Or I can automate this with this workflow feature here. I just click import to import the workflow into my account. I paste in my Google Maps API key so I don't get sued. Then under location, I can paste in a list of coordinates. Well, where are we gonna get the list of coordinates? We just go back to my free tool and here click this little copy icon next to coordinates right here. And this opens up a dropdown of all the coordinates for all 133 cities in Nevada. I'm just gonna do the top five for demonstration purposes, but you theoretically could paste in the entire list of 133. So I'm gonna paste them in here, and now I can see on the preview on the right-hand side, it's gonna make five sets of requests. Then I'm gonna add in a query for injury attorney, 
and I can also paste in a list. So it's gonna do the cross product here, so be careful about adding too many at once. So I'll do another one like car accident, lawyer, and now I'm up to 10 requests, and for each root request, it's gonna do pagination and get up to 60 results per original request. So if that's too technical for you, you just know it's gonna look up a bunch of data and then it's also gonna look up the details for each of these businesses so we can get their website URL and link to a Google Map profile we can use for contacting them. So the first phase completed in about three minutes, getting me 600 injury attorneys in Nevada. However, this only contains the name and address. It doesn't have the website. For that, I need to wait for this derivative workflow to finish running. This was kicked off automatically, so there's no action needed. We just wait for it to finish. And this took about five minutes and got us 245 rows. This is about half of the previous step because it automatically removed the duplicates for us. So this spreadsheet here contains the details of the Google Maps injury attorneys in Nevada. So this spreadsheet provides us useful fields like the name of the law firm, the address, phone number, as well as the average ratings. We can see a lot of these lawyers are highly rated. We may want to reach out to some firms that have low or no ratings at all. They may be good candidates. And here, my favorite column is we can look up each of these businesses on Google Maps. We can also see the number of reviews. So again, these don't have any reviews. So we may want to check out this person's website and say, hey, we can help get you some reviews. We just need to outreach your current customers. We have a service to do that, et cetera. And we can use this column here to see the business directly on Google Maps. So we can see that it's already claimed, but there are some other things we may want to help it out with. Namely, there are no reviews, but everything else looks like it's in decent shape right now. So like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, since we use larger cities in Nevada, I think a lot of these are gonna be claimed and already have marketing fulfillments, but I can go to each of these websites, for example, and see how well they rank for Nevada, personal and injury attorney, Las Vegas attorney, et cetera. And I'm sure some of them could use help with that and I could reach out to them and see if they're interested. We can also sort this spreadsheet by the user ratings to show the average stars so we could find some of the poorly rated lawyers. The Excel doesn't do a great job in presentation, but I can copy this link here and see that this lawyer only has three out of five stars. And what a surprise, it's also unclaimed. So I may be able to reach out to the lawyer and offer to claim the business and manage his reputation as well. So I hope you guys find this tool useful. Be sure to check it out, link in the description. It's totally free. The only catch is that I do try to upsell you guys on scraping if and when you can afford it. My hope is that maybe if you generate some business with this manual tool first, then maybe you'll come back to me and want to do some automated scraping. If you like this tool, please link to it. That would really help me out. If you don't like this tool, let me know in the comments how I could make it better. I'm always looking to improve, so your feedback means a lot to me. Also, if you have other uses for Google Maps data other than lead generation, please let me know in the comments. All I know is a lot of you guys are interested in scraping Google Maps, but I don't exactly know why. I'm assuming the majority of you are doing lead generation, but if not, let me know and maybe I can make some other videos or free tools to help you guys out. If you're ready to scrape Google Maps, check out this next video here where I talk about how to do a deep crawl and scrape Google Maps for any city and business category. Thanks for watching until the end. See you in the next video.